friends if you have noticed around now robots have come out of the screens and from the science fiction books and series into reality and whenever you attend any kind of a tech fest whether virtually or in person you are exposed to uh, these robots which are designed either for specific task or uh, designed like an humanoid which can do multiple tasks including interacting with you walking talking lifting grabbing things and uh, helping you around so i thought why not pick this up as uh, today's uh, topic so let's get started with today's topic robotics For me, robotics in simple terms, it's a combination of computer science and mechanical engineering coming together to create a machine which mimic human behavior and actions. Now moving ahead, uh, in last uh, decade, uh, robotics have made great progress because of the rapid and uh, continuous progress in artificial intelligence because of low prices of components like sensors and electronic devices which is required to create it and also for readily available large data set that is aiding this technology and last but not the least is the steady demand of efficiency has created a perfect storm for this engineered uh, innovation and that's why robotics is thriving when we talk about components of a robot then we can easily draw a corollary with our body system it requires a skeletal system it requires your muscular system it requires sensory system uh, it also require power uh, just the way we need energy and it also require a brain to process all these sensory system now let's get deeper into this to understand how robots are made so first and foremost step is assembling mechanical parts because we need a skeletal system to be developed as a first step so all your motors piston gears all come together and you assemble all mechanical parts next step is uh, you need uh, all the sensory system to be ready so for that you need sensors and to an extent sometimes you need camera because the robot needs to understand uh, about the size shape also about the distance between the object the direction and so on and so forth now both the things are ready but then how does this get started so you need a powerhouse just the way we need energy to uh, act, um, get started now uh, but how do you control uh, the actions of a robot so for that just the way our brain works so we have a controller uh, uh, which is required and most of the time these controllers are nothing but a computer programming a chip which is with uh, the robot and uh, based on that uh, it actually works so now you are ready to create your own robot and i'm not joking because uh, in market there are a lot of diy kits which are available i bought one for myself i would be trying it too but uh, small projects uh, on creating such uh, robots with your kids would be a good idea to actually understand the entire process of how things work um because uh, in future you would see this uh, quite frequently so why not get started right now now let's talk about evolution of robot it all started in 1961 with industrial robot which was just an arm which used to pick up things from one place to another and it was deployed in general motors assembly line even today if you see maximum robots you would find in manufacturing units of automotives next um, came was a fully developed structure which was designed and uh, created by a japanese scientist and uh, important fact was that uh, it used to also speak in japanese language 
then came a major development which is uh, shaky and uh, it is believed that shaky was much more refined and accurate in its assessment of its surrounding and uh, also um, it is said that uh, the algorithm of shaky is being used even in today's robots so that good it was in recent time if i have to talk about then boston dynamics is uh, one which is creating a buzz in the market with their new innovations and coming up with new types of robots to perform multiple tasks another one is we can also talk about honda's uh, azimo or we can talk about toyota's um, humanoid uh, robot and no one can forget about Hanson Robotics Sophia, which is the most sophisticated robot today. I believe this will uh, further get refined and uh, those days are not far away when we'll have robots as our companions supporting us uh, in our day-to-day -day life. Let's wait and watch what's stored in the future. But till then, me Sarikao Sen signing off for today. Have a good day.